Now, if you want to deploy your application to an iPhone, you need a Mac, and you should be running the latest version of Xcode. So currently, you can see I'm running version 8.2 of Xcode. Now, previously, before iOS 9, if you wanted to deploy an application to an iOS device, you had to register as an Apple developer, and you had to pay about $100 a year. Now, starting from iOS 9, if you just want to deploy an application to a device for testing, you can do it for free. You don't have to register as an Apple developer. You only need to do that if you want to deploy your application to Apple Store. So, assuming that you have a Mac and you have installed the latest version of Xcode, now let's go to Xcode menu, preferences. Here you go to account tab and you need to log in with your Apple ID. You can see I've currently logged in with my Apple ID. And then on the right side here, you should see your Apple ID under a team. So this is automatically set up for you. Now, unfortunately, because I have changed my screen resolution for recording purposes, I cannot show you my name under the team here. So once you see your name under the team, then you can close this dialog. In our project, under Platforms, iOS, you see an Xcode project file, hello world.xcodeproj. So open that. Now here on the top, you can select the target device to deploy your application to. So if you connect your iPhone with USB, you can see that listed here. My iPhone is called Moshpit. And here we have a bunch of iOS simulators. If you want to deploy your application to a real device, you need to sign your application with your Apple developer. So currently, my device is selected. Let's see what happens when I try to deploy this application to my iPhone. So I can either click this icon here, or preferably use a shortcut, Command and R, that you can find here. You can see we have two build errors here. So double click. Here's the actual error. Signing for Hello World requires a development team. Select the development team in the project settings. So on the left side, click this icon and then select the project, Hello World. Now here in the Project Settings tab, scroll down. Under Signing, you see this warning, this error. Signing for Hello World requires a development team. And to fix this, you need to select the team, in this case, your own name, from this drop-down list. You need to sign your application only if you want to deploy it to a real device. So you're not going to see this error if you select one of the iOS simulators from this list. All right, now that everything is set up, let me build one more time. You can just build with Command and B. Beautiful, build succeeded. And then I can deploy it to my device by pressing Command and R, which is the shortcut for run. So the first time you want to run your application on an iOS simulator or a real device, come to Xcode, set up everything. But from that point, it's easier to do this in terminal. So we run Ionic, run, iOS dash L for live reload and C for showing console locks. Now, if your device is connected using USB, running this command will deploy your application to your device. Otherwise, your application will be deployed to an iOS simulator. All right, next, we're going to take a look at Ionic components.